<laughs> oh, more pointing. That's all good. Chase Erker. Am I saying it right, Chase? Oh, got it. Erker in the house. What's going on, buddy? My new partner? He is a new sports reporter here at AKSN, Fox 4 News at 9, with the lovely, talented Megan Mazurik, award winning, lovely, talented Megan Mazurik, press club number one anchor in the state, my man. So, God bless America. Fox 4 News at 9, do it in prime time weekdays right here where you get your AS, uh, AKSN sports. And it's either going to be me or it's going to be this dude delivering it right to you, Chase Erker, in the hizzy, in the hizzy. Now, uh, earlier we talked about how one team got to the state semi or to the state championship, ASAA soccer state championship this week being played out of time in high school, and that would be Juno. They would be taking on a team that basically has had their eyes set on Juno since, well, two years ago. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, talk, talk a little bit about uh, this rivalry, if you don't mind. Well, uh, well uh, you know, it's uh, two years ago they had, uh, they had played, Juno had played uh, Diamond, and, you know, that. They had beaten Diamond, and on the, and on the they beat Diamond, yeah. and uh, you know the guys they, they remembered that. Some yeah. of the older guys they remembered it, and so they went out there, and uh, you know they had a purpose, and it was it was a hard, tough fight. You know, throughout the entire entire game, it was it came down to a PK. Well, do you mind if we roll a little footage? Talk it. over it. All right, Sid, hit me up with that footage, baby doll. It's called a man baby doll. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, so we got <laughs> yeah, so we have we have the foul here. And uh, this brings up the PK. We're in stoppage time of the first half here. Stoppage time, okay, and it's 0 0 at this point. 0 0, nil nil as they call it. And uh, they get the score right there, and that would be the only score in the game. It was a, it was a fantastic defensive effort on both sides. A uh, phenomenal effort. There was no quit in any of those guys, even going into stoppage time. In the second half, I mean, the Juno kids, they're still out there fighting, fighting, and uh, you know what? They left it all out on the on the field, but, uh, you know, Diamond come back getting a little bit of retribution, you know? Yeah, absolutely, and uh, and here's the deal, I mean, Diamond, they were the ones kind of favored all season long, they had that fire, they, like you were mentioning, uh, they had a couple kids that were on that state team a few years ago that lost, and, and they just had that fire in the belly, man, all year long, that's all those guys talked about, so for them to get the win, it's huge, it's emotional, and I believe you did get a chance to hook up with one of the West, or, uh, pardon me, Diamond players after the fact, is that true? Uh, yes, I did. Please. Let's hit it. Dude, it feels amazing. <laughs> we, I mean, we've been trying out this for four years, so finally got it. Feels really good. Yeah, yeah, you know, because they took it from us two years ago, so, I mean, it feels really good to get it back. Uh, I mean, just playing with the guys. I mean, we got the Triple Crown one league, regions, and states, so, I mean, that, that says it all. I mean, it's been great. There's the captain from Diamond. I've got to tell you, man, Diamond pretty much owning it in state this year. they got the state hockey championship, state basketball championship, state soccer championship. We'll see what they can do with football this year. But, I mean, Diamond, fun, man. Fun time to be a student there, right? Yeah, no joke. you got to get over there. they got this shrine. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Uh, Sagan Osborne just signed on to play Division One baseball at Utah Valley University. Good times at Diamond High. Right now, uh, Seawolf Corner. You mind if we do that? Let's University do of Alaska Anchorage. We love our Seawolves. We bleed the green and gold. I went there for a wee bit. You bleed the, what is it, Ole Miss red? The, the, red, the red and blue. Red, is it's it just straight up blue or is it like navy uh, blue? Or? It's Harvard red and Yale blue. Yeah, with Harvard of the South. Stop laughing. <laughs> I'm going to put this up right here. All right, uh, basically, we got to talk to Coach Rusty Osborne, UAA head coach of basketball. I want to talk a little bit about last year's season. What a tremendous season for senior Taylor Rohde. He won all kinds of awards. They had a great year. And then we're going to break down a couple of the new recruits that are coming in. Let's kick it to the man. The man. The man. Coach Rusty Osborne, UAA basketball, please. Well, I think we're missing, but, uh, you know, this, the history of this program.